The Leonberger and the St. Bernard are both large breeds that can make a perfect companion for the right family. In this video, we'll look at both breeds and see if one of them could be the right dog for you. Welcome back to the Fenrir Leonberger Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. So let's dive into today's video where we'll be comparing these two beautiful iconic breeds. The St. Bernard is a large breed. They were created by crossing a Great Dane and the ancient Tibetan, also known as the Roman Mastiff. Eventually, the Newfoundland breed was added in to create the breed we know and love today. There have been many drawings and paintings of the St. Bernard, but the first officially written evidence of the breed can be traced back to 1707. St. Bernards were first used as guard dogs and protection dogs at the Great St. Bernard Hospice. It was located 2,469 metres up in the Alps of Switzerland. The St. Bernard Hospice was a refuge for travellers in the mountains. It was also used as a place of worship. The dogs were very effective at keeping the hospice and surrounding areas safe and eventually they were used as rescue dogs for people trapped in the snow or travellers who were lost in the Alps. During 1876, the first breed standard was written and during March 1884, the Swiss St. Bernard Club was established in Basel. One of the most iconic items that's linked with the St. Bernard is the cask. The breed was known to carry a small wooden cask or barrel that was connected to their thick collars. The casks were filled with an alcohol rumoured to be wrong. This alcohol would be a key resource when saving people trapped under the snow or lost out in the cold weather. The alcohol would temporarily restore the patient's blood flow that helped keep them alive until they could get proper help. Now let's take a look at the history of the Leonberger. The Leonberger is the 167th different breed to be recognised by the American Kennel Club in 2010, but their history goes back over 170 years. They were first registered as a breed in 1846 after being bred from a cross of the Newfoundland, the Pyrenean Mountain Dog and the Barry de Manchretta by a man named Henrich Essig. Henrich Essig was the mayor of the German town called Leonberg. He bred them to resemble the lion on the town's coat of arms. He was successful and they took the name of the town to become known as the Leonberger. They became popular amongst royalty in mainland Europe and they were developed to look like the breed we recognise today through the 20th century. The arrival of war in mainland Europe was almost devastating for the existence of the breed. During the First World War, large number of their owners were lost in battle or because they fled to avoid the conflict, left them to fend for themselves. As a result, only five survived. The breed grew in numbers by the time the Second World War came around. But during the Second World War, they were used on the battlefield to pull ammunition carts. But this nearly led to extinction again for the second time as only eight survived. After making another recovery, they made their way across mainland Europe and overseas to North America. In Canada, they used as water rescue dogs. They first gained their UK Kennel Club recognition in 1978 and thanks to lovers of the breed, Leonbergers of today can be traced back to the survivors of the Second World War. The St. Bernard is a large breed that can have either a rough or smooth coat, which sits flat to their skin. They should be muscular and strong and this enables them to carry out rescue missions. St. Bernards can stand up to 75 centimetres, which is around 30 inches, and they weigh up to 81 kilograms or 179 pounds. The St. Bernard can come in a variety of different colours, including brown and white, brindle and white, and red and white. They often have a black shading on their face and ears. The St. Bernard has floppy ears that sit high on their head and a long tail that hangs high. They have eyes that can droop. The St. Bernards tend to have dark eyes, but they are cases where the breed have light blue eyes. They have a wrinkly forehead and jowls that droop low, which can cause some slobbering. The Leonberger is a strong muscular breed. They have a broad head, medium sized ears that hang close to the head, strong legs and a long fluffy tail that hangs low. Leonbergers come in a variety of seven colours, including black, brown, grey, cream, red, sable and brindle. Leonbergers of any of these colours should all have a black facial mask. They have a dense double coat that should be brushed every two to three days to keep their coat looking sleek and clean. 
As we've touched upon in their history, their appearance is similar to a lion, as they were bred to resemble the lion on the coat of arms for the town of which they got their name. This large breed reaches their full adult size at the age of one, despite not being fully matured until the age of three. They grow to a height of 31 inches or 78 centimetres at the withers and weigh up to 150 pounds or 68 kilograms. Females are slightly smaller, weighing up to 140 pounds or 63 kilograms and standing an inch taller at the minimum of 30 inches or 76 centimetres at the withers. Hey guys, really quick message. I just wanted to let you know, if you're not following us on Instagram already, we are doing tons of helpful, valuable content over there that I'm sure you'll love. We've got a couple of different pages that I think you'll really enjoy. First is our Fenrir business account, where we do loads of stuff about training, some of our product services, and just what we get up to on a day-to-day -day basis, building the fastest growing canine company in the world. And maybe you'll be interested in checking out my personal Instagram, that's at I am Will Atherton. Again, if you're interested, there'll be links in the description Sorry for interrupting the video. I'll let you get straight back to it. The St. Bernard grows very quickly. However, they do not actually hit their full size and maturity until they're between two or three years old. A lot of people are not aware of this when getting their St. Bernard puppy and commonly assume that their overly excitable, large St. Bernard is a naughty dog and not that they're still in puppy mode. This is why it's especially important to get your St. Bernard trained from an early age. The St. Bernard breed motto is that the breed embodies devotion, dignity and sacrifice and they certainly show these characteristic traits. They're extremely devoted to their owners which makes them easy to train. The St. Bernard needs around an hour of exercise a day. They enjoy plenty of playtimes at home too. They also enjoy short runs and moderate hikes. St. Bernard's excel in dog sports like karting and weight pulling. It can be a fun experience to teach a St. Bernard these dog sports and it will also strengthen the bond between the you and them. Leonbergers have the potential to be nervous or aggressive dogs. Proper socialisation from the earliest age is crucial. Get them used to different sights, sounds and smells as possible. Try to introduce them to different people and various pets and they should become well-rounded and polite dogs. Persistence is key with training this breed. They don't respond well to harsh training methods or shouting. They require a calm, consistent leader to look up to for guidance. As their leader, the best method for training them is positive reinforcement and plenty of treats. They're an active dog that requires a good amount of exercise, so try and give them an hour of exercise a day. They thrive at dog sports like agility, dog diving, treble and sledding. These are not only excellent for exercise, but also keeping their minds active. They're a working breed and are at their best when they have a job to do, so these sports certainly keep them entertained and focused. The St. Bernard is a placid breed that will quickly become fast friends with any children. They're a very playful breed and will appreciate a game of fetch with their family. It's important that you teach your children how to handle a large dog. St. Bernards can be prone to jumping up when they're puppies, so bear this in mind when your puppy is around any children. It's advised that children and any dogs are not left unattended as accidents can happen. St. Bernards will generally get on well with other animals when they grow up with them or have been properly socialised. St. Bernard should be socialised to different people, animals, sights, sounds and smells to create a well-rounded polite dog. However, if a St. Bernard has not been properly socialised, they can become boisterous and even aggressive. They're a large breed and if they become aggressive, they'll become uncontrollable. It's so important that you train them in obedience and manners. Again, it's advised that any smaller animals like cats or rabbits are not left alone with your St. Bernard as every dog has some kind of prey drive instinct. The Leonberger is a gentle giant of a dog. It's both loyal and affectionate with its family. Being a gentle giant, they're great with children, but you should always show caution around little ones, as their large size can potentially cause injury to smaller children when playtime gets too excitable. As with most breeds, it's important to teach your children how to treat you and approach your puppy and respect them when having some quiet time on their own. They generally get on well with other dogs and animals, but they can become aggressive if not properly socialised. You should socialise your Leonberger with as many different dogs and animals as you can from puppyhood to ensure they live harmoniously with other animals. Although it is still to be advised not to leave them alone with any smaller animals as accidents can happen. The Leonberger and the St. Bernard are two large breeds that are excellent around small children. They have similar training needs and socialisation requirements. If you were to make a choice between either, it really comes down to personal preference. One thing is for sure, if you were to choose either breed, I'm sure you will not be disappointed.
I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down in the comment section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Leon Burger videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Leon Burger Show.